So I think the most of our redemptions are um, uh, specific uh, to to us, and it's our investment performance that is is slowing the stuff that was uh, redeeming earlier. When I when I look at the broader markets, um, you know, it's worth remembering that I think at current levels, actually, the FTSE is probably about seven eight percent of its uh, of its peak uh, that we saw, you know, post the, post the bounce back. Uh, we're certainly seeing flows into emerging market uh, emerging market debt i think people are still worried that equity markets are pretty fully priced uh, uh, here and actually the bulk of growth in the world indices is coming from the us tech sector you've maintained the dividend which will cheer a lot of those um, FTSE income investors who are getting edgy after people like bp and others have been cutting um, do you intend at this point to continue to maintain dividend? What, what's the board thinking about the payout ratio? Uh, well, I think the first thing is to say, um, you know, it's our financial strength uh, that allows us to uh, uh, maintain that dividend. And we know that's really important for uh, investors, uh, both small uh, as, well as, uh, as well as large. Uh, I think it's important not to see round too many, uh, too many corners. Uh, the board will you know, look at uh, the medium term outlook and the sustainability of earnings. Uh, and um, you know, we'll report back uh, on, uh, on that at the finals. Let me just tap into your, your broad overview. At the moment, Keith, what, what do you see in terms of market evolution through the rest of, uh, uh, of the second half of the year here, do you think? Are we going to see um, emerging come back as a, a more interesting asset class for, for investors? Difficult to know in the second half, Jeff, because we are so dependent on uh, the pandemic, you know, whether there really is a, uh, a resurgence as we roll into the winter, whether there's a vaccine that, 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 that actually uh, provides uh, the thing that everybody wants and, 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 and the virus goes, goes away. Uh, I think if there were a virus, you'd see quite a strong rise in, uh, in markets and for sure emerging, I think, would be an important part of that. If there isn't, and as I suspect, um, you know, the recovery is slow and, uh, and modest, uh, equity markets will probably uh, take a slower pace of recovery. So emerging, I think, would definitely be the place to be for the medium, uh, the medium term, which is the best way to look at, uh, uh, at your portfolio. I think the second half is, uh, remains uh, difficult because of the underlying volatility and the fact that we're, we're not just dealing with economic data. You know, there's never been as big a connection between uh, health, uh, well-being, economics and, uh, and broad policy. So, you know, as a lot of things have to fall in place before we see a very strong uh, rally uh, in equity markets from here.